I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a groundhog for Groundhog's Day. I'm going to come right here in the center and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line down on the left, come back to the dot, curve line down on the right. I come back to the left and I'm just going to draw a little curve line connect on the left and a little curve line connect on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to put a little curve line, leave the floating on the left, come on the right, little curve line, leave it floating on the right. I come inside and I put one dot, two dots, and right in the center, curve line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, and connect. Now I want him to be peeking out of his, his hole, so I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line on the left, curve line, curve line, curve line on the right, and coming back I want to make sure that my curve line hits those other two little curve lines. I come back on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line off the page on the left. Come on the right, curve line, curve line, off the page, on the right. Now, we're going to draw the shadow. So starting right here, I draw a curve line up, connect. Right here on the right, curve line up, connect. Come back to the left, curve line over, up, connect. Little curve line. Connect on the left, little curve line, connect on the right. And right here I'm just going to draw curve line, straight diagonal, curve line. Okay. This is supposed to be a snow drift. So we're just going to put a little couple of wavy, curvy lines for our snow. And right here put a dot. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line over and connect. Big curve line, connect. Starting on the left, little curve lines all the way across. Then we're going to put one dot, two dots, and we're going to draw a little curve line right here like that. Okay? We'll put a couple of straight lines, floating lines, and now we're ready to color. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the inside of my little groundhog. I guess it would be a burrow. I said a little hole, but this is where he lives, so I would say this is his burrow. He lives underground. So I'm going to color this space black with my black crayon. I should probably color it a little bit darker to show that it's inside. And then I'm going to take my black and I'm going to color my shadow. And this also can be a little bit darker than normal. I want to get that shadowy look from the sun and the way winter has been this season woo! I don't know about the groundhog this year so you color this all in dark black color this part dark black now get a brown and we're going to color, oops, I forgot, I always forget something. Color this little guy's nose black, okay? Then get your brown and color this whole space. 
Now you don't want to color this too dark because you don't want to lose his little face or anything. And he is peeking out, so he's kind of hidden anyways. But just so you can look and say, oh yeah, there's the groundhog. Go ahead and color this in light brown. Okay? We're going to leave all this white because it is snow. But let's get Mr. Sunshine up here. We can make him yellow. And then, this is a good example of how you look at your your picture, your drawing, and you go, wow, that looks really, really white. Where can I add some color to kind of brighten it up? And so what I did, I took my blue, and following my sunshines, I'm going to do some straight diagonal lines to fill in the background where the sky would be. Okay? Okay. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my groundhog all colored in for Groundhog Day. Okay, bye-bye.